this morning, our verse leads us to talk about the value of strength and courage. Why? Firstly, because God has commanded us to be strong and courageous. And to be what God wants us to be requires us to assign different aspects of how to be. As Shakespeare put it in Hamlet, Act 3, Scene 1, to be or not to be, that is the question. Whether tis nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous misfortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles, and by opposing them, end them. When we accept Christ to rule and reign in our heart, we oppose them, and Christ in us ends them for us. Later in chapter 24, Joshua wrote, But as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. So that is the basis for our discussion of moral fiber today. Incorruptibility is another way we can see our personal need for moral virtue as given to us in 1 Corinthians 15.53. For this corruptible mortal must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. To put means move to or place in a particular position. Just like we get dressed in the morning and put on our clothes, we must dress ourselves in God's incorruption, which makes up 24 character strengths. The character of strength and courage is to be found in God and God alone, because the nature of moral fiber and the virtues are found in Christ alone. So why do I need to know my character strengths? Firstly, knowing your character strengths isn't just interesting information. When skillfully applied, character strengths can actually have a significant positive impact on our life. Secondly, you can identify your weaknesses as well. Research shows that using your character strengths can help you buffer against problems, manage and overcome problems, improve your relationships, and will enhance your health and overall well-being. Every individual possesses all 24 character strengths in differing degrees giving each person a unique character profile. The categories are wisdom and knowledge, courage, humanity, justice, temperance, and transcendence. Now this is a very long in-depth study on the 24 virtues, so I will be adding some extra information, available information uh, for you to take personal study and personal time to do that. Have a blessed day. Dear Heavenly Father, we depend on you today to show us in the Spirit where we are strong and where we are weak. We know in our soul that the 24 virtues are from you. You have assigned each of us those for a purpose, and that purpose is to glorify your holy name. Lord, we resign our life to you so you may mold us and make us into your design. Teach us to work together to become the bride of Christ you so desire for your Son. In Jesus' name.
precious name we pray. Amen.